Okay, first you need everything that you can see here on this table. We have our sugar, our milk, our Pillsbury boy. Make sure he's on there. Our salt. The powder of baking. <laughs> and then we are going to need... Both of these are half cup, but I separate the two for reasons. Because I'm picky. So, now... First thing we want to do is crack the egg and put it in the bowl. That's easy enough, right? That took a bit. Toss the egg into the trash. That's great skill. Next, we want to grab our milk. And we want to put half a cup of this milk, I'm going to use this one, into the egg. Put it into the bowl and mix it around. Swirl it in there, mixing in two things until they turn into some kind of weird combined color. Shouldn't take too long, actually. Okay, so once we're done with that, we are going to add in our more solid stuff. Start with the flour. Take the flour, take half a cup of it, and just drop it into, drop it into the bowl properly. Come on. Make sure it's all in there. Next, go to the sugar. Your fingers are going to have a lot of flour on them. We're going to get the tablespoon. Scoop it in there. Drop one tablespoon of sugar. Then, baking powder, we're going to get one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Finally, to round it all off, we are going to get our baking powder, not baking powder, our salt. Now, how salty do you want to be? In my case, I'm going to use a pinch. I mean, you can add a teaspoon of salt. You can add a tablespoon if you want. One time when I was in third grade, I added half a cup of salt because I thought it said half a cup of salt, but it said half a cup of sugar. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty horrible. So you want to mix it together. I would say beat it until you still see lumps. You would like to not overmix it. It's better to undermix it than to overmix it, because if you overmix it, the pancake just comes out looking really flat and sad. Trust me, I have made many flat, sad pancakes. Now, we want our pancake to be happy, and happy is lumpy. Uh, but not too lumpy. If you make it too lumpy, you'll just have an undermixed thing that tastes like egg in some parts, and tastes like salt in others. Just mix it up well. We should be about getting there. One thing to make sure is that all the flour is uh, mixed in, because it will sit at the bottom, so like, kind of curve around the edges there to scoop it up. See, there's some right there. Make sure you're not leaving any flour in the mixture, because you don't want to bite in your pancake and get some flour. Okay, I think it's about done. Notice how there are still lumps. You can especially see it when I scoop it out and the fork lumps go right back in. So now we plug in the rice cooker. Open the rice cooker. Pour your mix into the rice cooker. Directly in there. Just let it go right in. Not all of it's going to go in, of course, so you got to just kind of scoop it around. Even if you don't get every bit of it in, that's fine. Okay. Make sure it's flat on the bottom of the rice cooker. If you can, you can move it 
around like that until it's all level on the bottom. That's the rice cooker. For mine, I push down on cook. I walk away. Once it's done, it'll change from cook to warm. Those are usually the settings. Once it gets to warm, um, we'll do another thing. We're going to take our fork and we're going to stick it in to make sure that nothing comes out. Yeah, the rice cooker's changed to warm. You're going to want to let it sit there for a little bit afterwards. Uh, don't worry, the pancake more than likely won't burn. Now, you know it's done when you stick a fork in around all the edges and nothing comes off on the fork. See, that's well done. Now, we got to take our oven mittens, put them on, grab this thingy, now, this actually works best if you are to uh, pull up the edges a bit around the side. Alright, put your fork on the plate, put your other oven mitt on with one hand because you're skilled. And then, flip it over onto the plate. If it doesn't come out, just give it a little pat. There's our pancake, kind of folded in half there. It should be light, fluffy, and uh, it has its own little interesting pancake texture. You just got to try it out.